Hello friends and welcome back. This has been a rough year for everybody. There's no doubt about that. It has been really rough on all my musician friends, me and I'm sure on you as well. Um, gigs are virtually non-existent. I haven't played with a group of guys since it's been six months now. But just about every musician I know has been doing some serious woodshedding during this period. And we down at More Guitars would like to share with you a few of the things that we've been working on uh, while we've been in isolation. And ask you to share some of the things you've been working on. If you want to produce a video, if you have already made a video showing some of the things you've been working on, put a link to the video in the comments below. We'll take a look at them and the ones that we think would be most helpful to our viewers we'll share on our social media. Let's see if we can all get together and help each other out with this. I know just based on what I've seen so far, when this thing is over and we get back to whatever normal is and we can start gigging again, there is going to be some incredible music being played because we have all gotten a lot better during this time off. So let me show you something that I've been working on for the past, oh my gosh, almost a year. I grew up with a blues rock style of playing. That's how I learned. Uh, lots of bends, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and of course, if I want to try to incorporate any kind of the modern rock blues players, uh, Joe Bonamassa, uh, Eric Johnson, you've got to be able to do those blazing pentatonic runs, alternate picked, up and down the neck, and I couldn't do it. Uh, I tried for a while to, you know, learn from some of the shredding masters on YouTube, but their lessons were so focused on the mechanics of picking and, and pick angles and things like this. I became so aware of what I was doing with my right hand that I could barely play. So I gave up on it for a while. Eventually I was working on a track and I had this one run in my head that I wanted to be able to play. And I could only do it at beginner speed. Doesn't seem like a whole lot. And especially if you are a younger player or have, you know, worked with good teachers, this would probably be simple to you. For me, I was either plowing through the strings like a drunken bulldozer or I was getting stuck between strings. It was just sloppy, noisy. It, it wasn't anything I could do. And I was determined if I've got a lick in my head, I've got to be able to play it, right? You know what I'm talking about. So I took it apart found the position and the pick motions that, that were the most efficient that I could find. So I was doing the, the littlest amount of movement with my right hands. And I want to show you what I came up with because in working out this lick, it improved all aspects of my alternate picking and things became so much easier after I worked through this. This one lick will involve changing strings on a downstroke, changing strings on an upstroke, economy picking, and a position shift. All the techniques that you need to be good at alternate picking just so happen to be contained in this one lick. So this is what I started beginning all of my practice sessions with. Uh, in the little clip at the beginning of this video, you heard how my speed has increased on this one lick. That's the speed limit for me right now for playing it accurately and cleanly, but there's still room to go. A good player could just burn through this lick. Uh, so let me show you what I've got here and let me know if it helps you. This lick starts in the second pentatonic position of B minor. We're gonna start on the minor third. It's going to be the 12th fret of the D string. The thing to remember is we're going to start with a downstroke, and any time we're moving to higher notes, we're going to change strings on a downstroke. When we're moving from high notes to lower notes, we'll be changing strings on an upstroke. Let's run through it slowly.
breaking this down into two parts was a big help for me. I mean, it was the only way I could do it. Uh, and it, think of this with a triplet feel. Okay, think of it in triplets and it'll help you see where to break these phrases up. Start on a downstroke with the 12th fret on the D string and move through this slowly. Down, up, down, up, and then we're going to economy pick from the 12th fret of the B to the 12th fret of the E. Then the 10th fret of the E and back down. Okay, that's the first half of the lick. Let's just listen to that a couple times. And then we're going to finish it off with the... Since we ended that last phrase on a downstroke, this is going to start on an upstroke. And just remember that after two notes, you're going to have a position shift, you're going to slide up three frets and not pick, but keep your pick in position to upstroke on the next note. The two hardest parts for me in this whole lick was getting that slide to stay in that triplet feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it was very odd for me too to rest my picking hand after I'd been doing so much alternate picking. So that one rest beat in there is very important. So you can continue with an upstroke and finish with a good solid downstroke on the F sharp to end your lick. Get that worked up to speed and then try putting the entire lick together. This is where I am at this point, and it's made all of my alternate picking so much better and so much easier. And being able to change strings on an upstroke or a downstroke, going up the neck, going down the neck, this just opens up everything for you. So I just find that the more I work on this lick, the better my alternate picking gets. And hope it'll do the same for you. So if you have some videos of things you've been working on during the COVID woodshedding period, put links to them in the comments below. We will take a look at them and the ones we think could be the most helpful to musicians, we'll share them on our social media. It's just a great way for us to be helping each other out right now. In the meantime, stay safe, keep on practicing. We can't wait to hear what you've done whenever this is over with. Looking forward to gigging again. See you next time.